Hello YouTube. Today I'll be showing you guys how to scrap these two corded phones back from the 90s and possibly 80s. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I found these two at a garage sale. They were just giving them away for free. They just said, hey, if you scrap electronics, I'll give you some electronics for free. And they gave me these two corded phones. Now, they're way too old for me to actually want to use and I just I just like taking part stuff so let's go ahead and see what we got inside so the first thing to do first we're gonna scrap this AT&T phone here this thing is pretty old let's see if we can get that into shot really easily alright that's good so pretty much all you'll need for this for this scrapping is these two tools just a Phillips head screwdriver, PH2, and just some wire cutters. So, first thing we want to do is make sure it's unplugged because if it's plugged in, you can get shocked and you can die. So, once that's clear, next thing to do is just separate the connections. Just press down this little tab here and pull out. And so, we're going to put this to the side. And now we're going to go to the side here and remove this connection as well. So now we just got some wire, but note it has gold plated ends, so you want to keep these. Snip these off to the side with wire cutters. It's very easy. You just go in here. It's the very edge. Just snip like that. Put that to the side. A little container. And the same on the other side. And so now you got yourself some number two copper. It is copper wire, so put that to the side. And do the same with the phone line jack, which is found at the bottom. Just pull up, pull down the tab, and then pull out. You got that separated. This piece is super long, so I can get pretty good money for that. Repeat with do the same treatment on these. So now we got yourself a big piece of wire. Put that to the side. So now what we want to do is Press down. Well, get this thing off. Oh, okay, so it's a little arrow. Press down on that and then down. This piece is plastic. Not worth collecting in my opinion. So now we just got this main unit. So now, as you can tell, there are some Phillips head screws. Just remove four of them, here, here, there, there, like so. Alright, we got those four screws out. So now this whole base should come right out. And now we are greeted with the insides here. There's a whole bunch of wire, so just do this. So now our next part we need to do is start snipping wires. Just snip all the wires you see. So now we have separated these two parts. Now, see this little bit here? This is brass. So what you want to do is you want to get a flat head screwdriver and just separate that. We'll do that last. All right. So we're going to focus on this part here. Now you always want to save these ends because these are gold plated. I don't know if you can see that. 
but they are gold plated. Let's see if well I couldn't focus it, but if you were to see this in real life, then you would notice that there are gold plated um prongs here which would connect to this um unit here. That's where they mate. So put that to the side after snipping off the wires connecting the um, connecting to the little module. Put that to the side. More wire. So now we go into the main board. Now the main board just get a screwdriver and undo these screws on that hold the main board to the shell plastic and by the way if you're wondering how old this thing is turns out it was 1993 you can tell right there 1993 AT&T Always nice to see how old things are when you scrap them. Just as a little trivia. So, just keep removing all these screws. Gosh dang it. The screws are so small, hard to catch on, but they can be undone. They're just very hard. there. Just got to remove one more screw. Let me get that real quick. Alright, sorry about that. I just kind of had to answer a phone call. But anyway, I've readjusted the camera so you can kind of see everything better. So now I just got to remove one more screw right there. It's visible right there. So, you remove that and the main board should be free. There we go. So, we have removed the main board. Just remove any plastic components. I'll go with your plastic. If you recycle plastic, then you can put that to the side. So, it should be ABS, which is the certain plastic that they recycle. So, now we've done that, we can just kind of pull up on the board here. So, on the back, that heavy duty tracing there, lots of solder. But anyway, you can just pull up on the little button pads, the button membrane switches, and as you tell, no gold. Sometimes there will be gold though, so pay attention to that. Same on the top, I think. but this is considered low grade, which is about 10 cents a pound most places. Well, am I pretty sure that some places around me should have about 10 cents a pound? Anyway, but I just recover it and recycle it myself, so I don't need to worry about that. But anyway, so that's how you remove that main board. Just to this plastic, mind the buttons. You can get all over the place if you're not careful. Always remove the back cover upside down. It's a pain, but to have to try to get up all the, gather together all of the buttons, because there's just so many. Okay, so back on the main board here. Once again, that piece of brass looks like a little switch connector. Probably save that for a project. And then a little, another connector right there. So, all I gotta do is just kind of, not to, is if it's not gonna come out. First, I remove the wires. Put in my wire pile. All goes into number two. And I'm going to snip off only a section of the wire. So I could still reuse this wire. You can reuse the switch. Now, this piece should just come right out. If I'm correct. If not, just give it a little bit more persuasion. Move that piece of plastic. So now this piece just comes right out. Put that into your gold plated connector pile. Further processing. So now we got this part. Wire. Unfortunately, since the wire didn't just didn't 
least with the brass pad we cannot remove the brass bits so we're just gonna leave this on the plastic really no big deal and get plenty more brass so now I'm just gonna remove that switch nice little switch since it's most likely working I can get working parts for it so I'll put that to the side so now we got this piece of trash but also the handset is next so to remove the handset it should just open up if not I'll go ahead and get my flathead I'll be right back I'm back so I've gotten my flathead screwdriver now we can just kind of pry open this little handset mind where your hands are and get pretty get pretty hard if your screwdriver hurt slips it hurts so it appears that this guy does not want to come out We'll get in some more. Oh my gosh. If all else fails, there's always one tool that never dissatisfies me. It's the hammer. Hammers always work. This is one. There we are. So crack this guy open. Almost cracked him open. Okay. Now we can just open that up. This plastic. It's like peeling a banana. So now there's another gold-plated jack and here is a another piece of plastic but here's a steel looks like a microphone with a little electronic component which I could salvage I could just snip it apart there we are got a little resistor I think not too sure but Hey, it's a little Motorola guy. Pretty nice. Put that to the side. And now we got this piece. Looks like I'm almost out of time, so I'll have to make this a two part video. No problem. We got some wire. Got like two minutes or seconds left. Anyway, so here's a little piece of steel. That new steel. Let's see, screws. So now we got this last part, which just slides, pulls right out. Another piece of plastic, and looks like another piece of plastic which we can pull back, and a piece of plastic. Looks like another electronic component. Looks like a diode. I'm not too sure, but looks like I can't get that out, so I'll just keep that on. So here's two pieces of wire that was out of wire and this coil should have some copper so you want to break that out and get some copper out of it don't even have time for that anyway looks like I'll put that to the second part as well but yeah I should Speaker, so it should have nice copper windings inside. Just put that in with your copper bearing motors. I'm not even going to worry about it. But anyway, that wraps it up with this AT&T corded phone, which is now reduced to a hump of plastic. So, in short, you got your wire, you got your copper bearing motor. 
just oh gosh okay that's unexpected not sure steel you got your little electronic part what that is yeah it's switch and diode which I put into this box of gold connector and that's about it so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you in part two